You have probably seen this horrendous Ronaldo statue somewhere on the internet before. I know it has been long replaced now, but this is how it should have at least looked like. The interesting thing is, for all the new looks of this statue I've shown you so far, none of them were photoshopped, and it was created with a technique called style transfer. Previously, I've covered a similar style transfer AI that can transfer painting styles onto another image. It wasn't perfect, but it has its own unique feels to it which make the results look fascinating. But when it comes down to stylizing something more delicate like the facial details, it lacks the ability to do it. What's so hard about facial style transfer is that there are two faces involved in the process. The target face where you want the style on, and the reference face where the style originates from. In a more simple process, you would simply just crop the reference face and paste it on top of the target face, and warp it to fit the facial structure of the target face. But the problem here is that you will not be preserving the facial features of the target face. Things like eyebrows and ellipse from the reference face are preserved instead. And it's pretty easy to create distorted results. It's like an artist painting your face in their art style. They will use your facial features blended in their art styles, but not the facial features of the previous person they painted, right? This is different from image warping that I described in the simpler process because we need to preserve identity and make sure the style is still consistent. So the paper face split was created to address this identity preservation problem. In what seems to be an easy process, we can see that previous research has failed to fully preserve the actual identity of the target face. It is especially obvious where the sclera is not white but brown instead, and the overall shadings were not as good as face split too. It roughly has the same difference across all the comparisons, not only did face split preserve the identity well, but also managed to preserve the styles consistently. Like where the eyes here are supposed to be fully shaded, the older papers drew the eyes out while face split did not. What's even more surprising is that face split supports running in real time, and a phone is able to process all these style transfers onto any faces just like a filter. Well maybe because Snapchat was behind this research, but I would never have thought they would make this run on a phone, let alone open sourced. So face split not only supports facial style transfer on images, but also videos. We may not witness how well it runs on a phone for now, but you can see how it should look like rendered on my PC. There are mainly two modes to this, and it's basically with the reference background and without it. In some results, the face and the background stand out too much. If it's just mild movements, then it could look decent, but in general, this mode is just pure madness. Maybe this is the true essence of art. Without the background, it is just way clearer and less visually intensive. In the worst case scenario, if only the target face cannot be fully outlined or detected, then there will be flickering on the edges. But overall, if the face shape is obvious, it should work. But getting it to work doesn't mean it'll look good, and it's pretty cursed from time to time. It's cause face split has been trained on data such as paintings and statues, so anything that is close to the styles of these two would work, while anything else would just look terrifyingly cursed, especially the ones with backgrounds. So if you would like to fix Ronaldo's statue for him, you can literally just pick up your phone and use any images of his face to do it. Or you can just use Messi's face instead. Well, that is if someone develops an app for that first. And if you want to be the one to develop the app, you can work with today's sponsor 27 Stars. 27 Stars is a London based development company that creates custom tailored web and mobile applications for individuals or businesses of all sizes. With their expertises, any of your ideas can be deployed easily and is just one request away. Currently, they are also providing an exclusive 10% discount for all of you guys if you choose to work with them. All you have to do is to include my name in the initial email to receive the discount and by working with them, you are also indirectly supporting this channel which allows me to dedicate more of my time to work on these videos. So thank you for that. On the other hand, thank you so much for watching. Also a big shout out to Andrew and many other Patreons and members that support my work through Patreon and YouTube. You can share your generated results results over on my discord channel or if you have any questions feel free to put it there too. Follow my twitter if you haven't and I'll see you all in the next one.